everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video so this is probably one of my most requested I've had several people ask me since I created this one for the 4th of July the Uncle Sam um, treat box so after I did this one I had a lot of people asking me to do one for Santa so this is the Santa box that I came up with. Isn't he cute? He thought he was super cute. Now the box is the same size and everything. It's just you're going to make him um, a Santa Claus out of them. But I thought he turned out so cute. And on the inside, I just put um, the same treats I actually had in that one, but I changed it and I put the sentiment here. And then I hung one of our gl glitter stars here. To make it but you know what would be really cute in this is the Santa hats um, Hershey's makes a Santa hat kiss and they've had it out the last couple years and I'm sure they'll bring it back out this year so um, those would be really really cute inside this treat box but you can put whatever you want but I thought it was super cute so this is what I'm sharing today so let's get started okay we are going to be doing a lot of die cuttings cutting with this. So for this project we are going to use a piece of 8x8 eight eight real red. Now that's for the box. Then you're going to need two pieces that are 11 by one half. These are for the handles. And then you are going to need various scrap pieces. Whisper white, petal pink, and I'll show you what we're using for this. I already have everything laid out so we can get busy cutting these out so you're going to need one of the large these are the layering circles we're using so you'll need the largest scallop so you need whisper white for that we're going to cut the smaller one for his mustache then we're going to use petal pink for his face and we're using the largest regular stitch circle then i am also using this scallop die but you can use whatever you have I already did one side because we're doing so much cutting. I just wanted to get a little head start on that. So I'm using that one is from the, this is the peony dies. And this goes inside the pe with the peony dies. So that's where I got this scallop, but use whatever scallop you have. If you don't have that one. Then we are also going to use the poinsettia dies. And we're just using the smaller um, leaf and we're going to use that with shaded spruce and I have that piece right here and these are the layering circles that we're using and then the stamps that I'm using for that sentiment is for the little treats and it says ho 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 Merry Christmas I love this one because it's for a lot of different occasions and then you are going to need this piece for the um, front of his hat is going to be one by one and a quarter by four and then you need another piece if you want to put the scallop on this one you can but I didn't because it would be a lot of time so I just cut this one at one by eight and so this is the band that goes around the back here but you can do it if you want you have the patience to do the whole thing but I just did the front right here all right so I think that's everything so First, let's get busy cutting all this stuff and get it all ready to go. Then we'll put the box together. And it's really, really cute. We're going to cut two of those leaves. So let me get the cut and emboss, and we're going to cut out as much as we can at one time. So let's do his the face. And I'll tell you what size these are here in a minute when we get done what size circles these are but they are the largest in the layering but if you don't have those and you have some other dies you can use those too all right so let's do these three first So this is going to be his face and his mustache. Oh, what's that? 
And then this one is for his beard. Set these aside and we will do one of the leaves, the holly, and then we'll do the other side of this. So you have to line this up on here right to the edge because you want it to be about an inch wide as well. So there's the front of his hat. Isn't that cute? I love this because it has the little fancy ruffle kind of on there. Set that one aside and we'll just do one more of the holly. And I think we have everything cut out. It doesn't take long at all. Once you get all your paper ready and just send them all through. I use scrap for a lot of this. So this is a good time to use scrap. And there's our other one. And the reason I have the inside one, because it embosses it like a holly. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead, move this all out of the way. And we will get started here. You are gonna also need the regular, a regular hole punch. And that we're gonna use basic black and we're cutting two of those for his eyes. And then I'm going to do another piece with the half inch circle punch, and this is going to be his nose. And then we need to do two more of these. I'm just taking this scrap I had, and we're going to do two for the berries. Let's do three, because I think I originally had three on that. And I think when I moved it, it may have lost it on the way. I had three little berries on it. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and quickly stamp with Memento Black the Ho 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 Merry Christmas. And I'm going to use my Label Me Fancy for the label. And I love this one because you can put a slot. There's a hole, a slot here and a hole here. And then I just turn it around and I just punch the hole right there for the little tag. We're not going to put this on because um, I didn't prepare another bag, which I should have. Oh, look at this. I have one of these. These are the Santa hats. Wouldn't that be cute inside those bags? All right. Those were the ones I was talking about. I didn't have, I only have a couple, I think, from last year. And then for that little star on it, I'm using these right here, which are the glitter star ornaments. And the, these are right here. And these are also in our annual catalog. Not the annual, but the holiday catalog. All right, now let's get the box made, and then we'll put Santa all together. We have everything ready. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so let's score this piece here. And it is eight by eight, so this is our box piece. So we are gonna score it at, on one side at three and five. And then we're gonna turn it, and we are going to score it at two. Oops, get it across there. At two and six. And that is it. Told you it was a very simple box. So we are going to cut this, and you are going to cut it, this is the narrow side right here, so you're going to turn it and you're going to cut it on this side. I'm going to cut a little bit out here. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to grab my bone folder and we are going to sharpen these. And then I'm going to grab some wet glue and we're going to add it to here. 
in here. And I also, I'll do it, I'll show you this in a minute. All right, so then just pull these up, make sure they're even. And then you can see on the inside, those are loose right there. And I like for them to be up against the side. So I will add a little bit of adhesive on these flaps and then just push them up. You want to make sure you push them up and not down or you'll have a little bit of a gap. So I just do it the same on this one. You see that? And then we'll push it to the side so it's nice and flat. All right, so there's our little box. All right, now let's get going on our other pieces. So we are going to go ahead and grab Santa's face here. And I'm going to put it on here, but I'm going to trim the top. And I'm going to trim it after I get it on here. So we're going to go ahead and put his face. And it's just going to be a little bit that we're going to trim. I'm going to put his handles on last. And then I'm going to just trim this off here. And then we're going to do his beard, but we are cutting his beard in half. So kind of eyeball it. That's what I did. And then just cut it right in half. And then we're going to go ahead and grab some. I'm using the Petal Pink and I'm using a little sponge dauber. And what I did was I just hold it up here, his beard. And I just took a little pencil, and you can you don't even have to mark it, but um, I kind of mark where I wanted his cheeks to be. And then I just take a little bit of the petal pink, and I just blush up his cheeks. And you can do this after if you feel it's easier, but it's a little bit harder to me to do it after. Because we want to give him some little pink cheeks. All right, and that's that. Now we can add his beard. And now I put his beard all the way down to the bottom here. And then we're ready to put on the front. Let's do the back one first. This is a little bit easier, and I just take it and I just kind of do it with my fingers where it's going to be. And we need to cut it when we're done. Actually, let's just go ahead and cut, and cut it and I'll tell you the exact size that this is. So we'll trim it here. And then I'll tell you the exact size of this piece. It's easier for me to cut it after, so it's eight eight by one and I think that's what I told you but I didn't cut it <laughs> all right so now we're going to just add it around the top edge here and I'm going to put quite a bit because I want it to make sure it's going to stay and then just put it right up to the top edge and then we have his the back band on his hat band and then we're going to do the top and then we'll put his eyes on so we're going to do the top and this one I kind of brought it up a hair because I, I wanted his eyes you want it even but I wanted his eyes to show a little bit so I just have it up just a tiny hair just like that. Had that one up too far. This is what I like the wet glue for because you can kind of scoot it around a little bit. All right, now we're going to put his eyes on. 
And I should get grab my take your pick tool for this because it makes it so much easier. And we're going to put these two little eyes here. One there and one there. And now we, he needs his mustache. So what we're going to do with this one, we're also cutting this one right in half. And what I did on this one, you don't even have to, but I kind of curved the top part here just a little bit. So it looks more like a mustache. It's, I'm just taking a tiny bit off and kind of curving that top edge. And then we're going to put on his mustache. Oops. And we're going to do this one. Once you have all your pieces, this really goes pretty, pretty quick. So see how he's coming alive? <laughs> And then we're going to pop up his nose, but I'm going to add a little bit. I still have petal pink on here. I'm going to add it to make his nose really pink. Let's grab a little bit more. There. And then I'm going to grab a dimensional. And we're going to put that on the back so his nose is popped up. Put it right there. And then we're going to put his hand, the handles on now. So what I do for the handles, and you want to use really um, good adhesive for this. I would use the wet glue, but you're going to have to be patient and hold it. But I hold it like this, and I just bring it toward me like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Stamp and Seal Plus. I'm going to use it on the ends here. All right, so you're going to hold it like that. You're going to put these down and just make them as long as you want them to be. I'm going to put that one on there. And we're going to do the same on this one. So you want to make sure you're putting the adhesive on the same side of both of these. And you want to make sure they're pretty even. So we're going to put them on like that. So there's our little handles and then we are going to do his little holly. And I'm just going to use some wet glue again for this. I'm going to kind of bend it like that so it kind of pops up. So we're going to put one there. I'm going to do the same with this one. And then take your pick tool again for their little berries. And then I'm going to put three little berries here. I got too much glue, I think, on there. All right, one more. There we go. Isn't he cute? I think he's so cute. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been like one of my most requested. After I did the him, a lot of people were asking me if I could do a Santa one. And then just put dress up your little bag. I think the little star is adorable on here, and the ho 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 Merry Christmas is perfect. But like I said, for the inside, use some of the Santa hats would be really cute. So there he is. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.